Jesus. Good afternoon, and thank all of you all for being here. Uh, this is a wonderful, momentous occasion. So who am I? I'm a 15-year colorectal cancer survivor who was diagnosed at 36. That forever changed the course of my life. I was healthy, so I thought. I ate a diet of chicken, fish, and turkey. I was preparing for my first bodybuilding contest, a mom of five beautiful children, and a job that had benefits and provided for a great life. And all was lost because of a cancer diagnosis. So why am I here? And why is my story important to you? One phrase, family secrets kill families. For 11 of the 15 years, as a survivor, I struggled to make sense of why I was the only one in my family who was diagnosed with colon cancer. I was diagnosed with having Lynch syndrome, which is a genetic inheritance, which predominantly is colorectal cancer, but it also has other uh, cancers. I felt like a unicorn in my own family until one day my aunt told me the secret. And that was that my father and two aunts were diagnosed post-autopsy with colorectal cancer. And that was information we never knew. She didn't know it was important information until she found out that I was diagnosed with colon cancer. And perhaps had she known the importance of that information, I could have started screening in my 20s and prevented a cancer diagnosis. Sadly, communities of color are conditioned to say and believe that what goes on in our house stays in our house. What we talk about today what we don't talk about today, I'm sorry, can kill our children and our grandchildren and our family members. So the All of Us research program is important because of a few things. We need to know our family history of what hereditary conditions run in our families, like cancer, diabetes, asthma, high blood pressure, and heart disease. We need diversity in research. Research needs to benefit everyone because sickness is not a one size fit all. Neither is medicine. But sadly, medicine right now as it is, is one size fit all. We as African Americans have a mistrust of the research community because of the Tuskegee syphilis experiment and the Henrietta Lacks story as you just heard of, a little bit snippet of and other unknown research related atrocities that we never know. Less than 8% of the Latino population in the US participate in research because of lack of knowledge and not being asked to participate. Asian Americans are the fastest growing minority population in the U.S. with high incidences of lung cancer and colorectal cancer. The lack of minority representation in research means less access and less data on how certain populations respond to medications. We all deserve the opportunity to fight our best fight against cancer and other chronic illnesses and health conditions, but disparities in access, treatment, and prevention will continue to be a problem unless all of us contribute to research. We can no longer let fear of history hold us hostage, sitting on the sidelines and remaining spectators of research that will continue to leave us behind. We must instead take our seat at the table, add our voices to discussions, actively participate, and help guide research so that it benefits all of us. Our participation does not mean that we've forgotten or condone what has happened in the history. What it means is we can help improve the future of health research and prevention for all of us and not let it happen again. Thank you so much, and it's going to take all of us. 